What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Um, I actually just got off of work right now. I took a shower. Um, I seen that there's a couple of, um, I guess like home decorated kind of haunt areas, uh, like within like five miles of me, and I want to go check them out. And uh, I feel like this should be um, some kind of like, you know, like an episode or something, or of like, uh, you know, like Rob House Haunt Hunter or something. Who knows? But actually, um, I found I found these uh, I found these. Uh, where did I find these guys through? Hold on, my phone's in the thing. I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna tell you uh, how I found these haunts. Or no, they're not haunts. These like home decoration places, haunt-ish stuff. Anyways, so uh, this Instagram is called uh, SoCal Haunt List, and they kind of just. Um, I guess people who are going to do like haunts at their house or decorate their house, you know, kind of extravagant for the haunt season, uh, send them their information and then they post it. So people like me can go and enjoy, um, their, their hard work, but I'm definitely going to call this, um, section or this episode of what I'm doing for the howling hour. Um, Rob's haunt hunt. I like it. Maybe I'll bring the mask. Now you definitely, uh, when you're looking for a haunt, you want someone who's got a nose for these things. And I definitely went over to SoCal Haunt List and uh, sniffed that Instagram out so I can go find these haunts. So I'm going to take the mask with me just in case people uh, don't freak out. Maybe it might let, maybe people might get freaked out. Who knows? We'll see what happens. <laughs> Woo!
Okay, I forgot my light, so I'm using my camera light. Um, I am here in San Gabriel at uh, at this. It's like a home home haunt kind of display. It's called uh, Kraken's Cove. It's actually pretty cool. Um, you know, kind of little. It, it's small, but it's really detailed. Um, you know, it's pi You know, kind of pirate themed. They have music and fog and you know, like a, a lightning kind of lightning kind of you know effects going it's actually really cool um again i found it on a uh, socal haunt list so if you check that out um you'll definitely uh come check it out it, you know it's a little small thing i feel like it, you know the people who are trick-or-treating around here uh, are gonna probably enjoy it a lot uh, come halloween night but it's pretty cool it's very detailed um if you have time i'd say definitely check it out again it's in san gabriel socal haunt list um go ahead and check their instagram out and you can find where this is at uh so again it's called kraken's cove also i'm still here at uh, kraken's cove um also before i forget um the people here were really nice um they only had some of the effects going um, when I, when I pulled up and, you know, I seen them, they're, they're walking around and I just asked, you know, Hey, you know, do you mind if I record? And they're like, Oh yeah, no, no worries. Uh, go ahead. Um, you know, they just asked me to kind of stay off the porch, which I wasn't going to go that far up anyway. But, um, then they turned on the fog and, you know, the kind of lightning effects for me. So, uh, super cool people. Um, they didn't have to do that, but they did it and I appreciate it. Um, again, definitely. I feel like if you got the time or if you're in the area, come check it out. Uh, it's the place I found it is SoCal Haunt List on Instagram, and they kind of they get uh, people submit their their home haunts, their home themes, and stuff like that. Their whatever they're doing at their house, um, and they put it on there so you know people like me can go look it up and go check it out. Oh, sorry, I'm all sweaty, but um, definitely um, people were there. People were at the Kraken's K Kraken's Cove were super nice. Uh, turned on the effects for me and I had everything going so and let me record no issues um so thank you for that appreciate it and um yeah so if you're in the area check them out
I'm here at another uh, home haunt display. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. It's called, uh, I believe it's McDevitt Manor. Let me double check that real quick. Yes, McDevitt Manor uh, here in West Covina. It's actually really cool. Um, uh, I was talking to the, the, I guess the guy who lives here and he was saying that, you know, they got to pick up some columns and stuff and actually uh, starting tomorrow, they're going to let people um, kind of walk through it. I, I was recording kind of the outside of it. It looks really nice, really cool. You could tell these, uh, uh, they put a lot of hours into this and uh, it shows um, it's here in West Covina. Again, um, I found it on a SoCal haunt list where they have a bunch of haunt, you know, all over the place bunch of people who are doing haunts, home haunts, uh, walkthroughs, different things. So I found them on here and you could see like the streets all fogged up uh, from their from their haunt display. It's really cool. Again, McDevitt Manor here in West Covina. Uh, if you're in the area, come check it out. Uh, they got cool sound effects and everything. So I'm probably gonna have to come by again when he um, lets people walk through and do the walkthrough with it. Um, so yeah, McDevitt Manor, West Covina, check it out. Hey everyone, what's going on? I am Rob with the Halloween Hour. I've actually just uh, visited this uh, home home display, home haunt display. It's called the Red Water Pass. Um, now, uh, it's out here in San Gabriel. Again, I found this on SoCal Haunt List. Um, just uh, things I'll say about this display. It's very, very um, detailed. You can see all the detail. You can see um, the the love that was put into this. Honestly, it, it reminds me of, uh, if you've ever been through The Walking Dead, that cabin scene um, kind of area. It feels like it was just like ripped kind of out of there and placed here. It, you know, it, it, it's obviously it's not as big, but um, you can see the detail and it looks amazing. I mean, I can't really get over or uh, press enough how much I feel like this, this display looks it looks awesome the sound is awesome they even have um you know kind of some music in the background that fits the whole um whole display and i really i really just enjoyed it um it, it, you know if you're in the san Gabriel area or even if you're just kind of gonna start hit you know maybe hit some some home displays i would say definitely check this one out that is red water pass phenomenal uh home display i think it looks amazing and um Again, if you're in the San Gabriel area or if you feel like taking a drive out here, come check out Redwater Pass. You can find uh, their listings on uh, SoCal Haunt List on Instagram. Uh, that's how I found it. So, yeah. I just got done um, looking at, uh, it's called the Forgotten Hollows over in Pasadena. Um, they, I talked to the, the people who live there. They have it about 70% complete. So what I showed in the video, um, it's not 100% done, um, but it looks really cool. Definitely, this is more of a um, uh, kind of like a creepy cemetery kind of feel, and I like that. I almost uh, think of when I was when I was looking at it, I almost thought of like a like a um, the haunted mansion type of vibe. Um, he showed me a couple of uh, animatronics that they actually didn't have hooked up yet or lit up properly yet, but he, you know, he had showed me them, and they look really cool. So th this would be something. They said definitely on Halloween night, um, they're gonna have it all set up and everything. And this is some. This is a, uh, a like a, a haunted, not haunted house. Um, uh, a home haunt uh, display. This is definitely one that I would want to come back to just from. The design, you know, they have like projections and lasers and stuff, and it looks really cool. And you know, I'm I would be excited to see once because you know if it's seventy percent set up, like they said, um, I'd be excited to see what it looks like a hundred percent. So, um, again, uh, Forgotten Hollows. It's over in Pasadena. Found it on SoCal Haunt List on their Instagram page. So if you want uh, to find more details on this, definitely go check out the SoCal Haunt List Instagram page. And again, it is Forgotten Hollows in Pasadena looks it look definitely gives me the um like i said the haunted mansion vibes just kind of that graveyard kind of scene area but again forgotten hollows check it out